Okay, this is our motion set. You can see that we're set up in our traditional fast break formation here. We've got our point guard choosing a side, in this case the right side. We've got our two and our three men, our corners. They bump the baseline, staying nice and deep. The five man is our rim racer. He's on the ball side block. And the four, he's our trail post. He's staying uh, about at the swing position here outside the FIBA three-point line. Now the play is initiated, 2 is going to do a blast cut, 1 is going to ha give him the ball with a nice hard pass. After passing the ball, 1 is now going to cut right to the far corner, that's a sprint. He bumps number 3 from the corner up to the wing. Now we've got a 2 man game between our 5 man and our 2 guard in this case. This is going to be our side pick and roll. So 5 Five's going to L out and set a ball screen on the wing. He's trying to create separation from his check. So he's L'ing up to the ball. Two is now going to set his man up. You can see right here this is an open-sided screen. There's no one in the corner. So lots of options here. The two guard could reject the screen and go straight to the basket, knowing that he's got one for a drift. The five, as well, after setting the screen, could roll to the basket or could pick and pop because that side is open. So in this case, taking two hard dribbles off the screen, letting the play develop, set the screen quickly, slow to go off. First look for two, obviously, is to attack the elbow with the dribble, reading the defense and trying to get the ball to five. None of those options are available. He can reverse the ball to the four man. After passing to the four, the two has to spread out back to that offside wing. Four, upon receiving the ball, his first look is the high-low entry to the five-man. Okay, lots can happen there, especially if there's a hard hedge on that original screen and roll. After looking at five, four is now going to look at the three-man. We're going to set this up for a backdoor play. So eye contact, backdoor, that three is sprinting to the corner. Now three is left, one is going to replace. Okay, now we've got a two-man game between the one and the four. We're going to set our screen here. Now, as one dribbles off of four, you're going to watch the interaction. Four is going to dive. As four is diving to the basket, five is coming up to take away the weak side. Again, we're looking for a direct entry. If not, we can look at our triangle options, high-low, and we can hopefully get something off of that. If we rewind, slightly different look. Let's say that two is unable to get the ball, or we want the ball in one's hands. In this case, we can do a dribble entry to the wing and push the two right to the corner. So one can dribble to the wing, two has been pushed to the corner, three has now been pushed up to the wing, and again we have this two-man game. Five can L to the screen. We're always looking to reject this. If the defense gives us this, we have good penetrators that can take it right to the basket. We have two as a safety on the baseline. So here's our interaction. We set the man up, roll to the basket. That's our look. If we can't get that, we're reversing to the four. Four's first look is high low to five inside. After that, we look right at three, trying to promote that overplay for a back door. Here's something slightly different. If we can't get the ball to two after the blast cut, we can do a dribble handoff. Now we just attack the shoulder here. Same thing as four rolls to the basket, five is coming high. In this case, we get a direct basket. So we can get lots off of motion here. It's equal opportunity for everyone, lots of screen roll action. And uh, we spread the floor outside FIBA three-point line and we can get good things.